people living you in have the worst house. customer service history of anyone i've ever seen we made them do the job they're paid to do and that's being crazy <laughs> it's like you're a chick that's not having fun at all there's just no oh, input come on <laughs> don't act like you don't know <laughs> it's enough to talk yes. i'm just trying to win a point booga booga the coin of color brandon that's a coin of color coc Fuck. it's a cock <laughs> dick hawk Oh, Cody, can I, uh, g can you talk on that mic? Use yeah, the front screen. Cody, could you, could you talk? <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> fuck you for one. <laughs> and audio's in cue. Yeah, audio's, audio's good, good for, audio's good for him. He's going good. Testing, testing. Testing one, two. Get yours. Karl Marx fucking sucks. I like this new spicy neck we're getting. Dude, it's, I fucking went off about Karl Marx for a while yesterday. <laughs> Dude, you were just yelling. I know. <laughs> Everyone just stopped. I woke like, up this morning, my fucking voice hurt. I was fucking yelling so much. I saw that story. That's the first time we've gotten a story <laughs> teaser from Unsub in a while. <laughs> Fuck. I was like, oh, he's angry. That episode's Sub. done, too. G-Van knocked that one out so when, fast. this episode releasing in three, four months? Three. I think this is 2026. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> We should get it. We got our back catalog. So at this rate, we could just fucking retire, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're good, boys. We did it. <laughs> 2024, we all decide to fuck off to the Caymans. <laughs> Crazy. Speed. One of those countries where they don't extradite us. <laughs> what just are you planning? Taxes. <laughs> don't you worry about come, what I'm planning. This will come out way later. It's fine. I want the taxes. The ta okay, I'm good. Everything's lined up. We all good? Moments. Moments! 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 <laughs> ah, ah. God, we were just here. I know. It's fine. Literally it's fine. last night. No, it's, it's fine. fine. We have I've a had, huge I've day coming up. I've had breakfast like three times since then. The we podcast is becoming like Groundhog Day. Just wake up. Like, <laughs> just wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Show up at the same place, same time, same microphone, same people. Where am I? What am I about? Cody, are you ready? We can do this. Now we all line our drinks up. Uh, oh, what? Bitch you put it back. Do I want Guinness or Modelo first? That's your choice. Guinness. Jesus oh, God damn, I gotta drink a seltzer too. You don't get full of shit from drinking Guinness all the time? Oh, yeah. No. Uh, uh, what? Well. Three, two, one. All right. Woo! Well, boys, it's good Woo! to be back. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Unsubscribe Podcast. I'm joined today by Eli Double Fab, Nick, fat electrician, and Congressman Herrera. Thank you for coming back and watching our stupid shit. Best job I ever had. Best job I ever had. Best job. Damn it, Eli. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> Best You're cut paper off. Paper towels. Could you guys Can just I leave get paper a, towels a nerd real quick? in the comments below? <laughs> Here comes G-Van actually helping us out Fuck's in sake. real life. Oh, thank you. Thank you, too. Oh, fuck. That's oh, G-Van. Oh, no. no. That's G Van. Okay, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, Cody. No. <laughs> a G Van our editor. I was, like, I was just like other random military <laughs> slash police guy here for this week. <laughs> How many times have we complimented his cock on this show and you just didn't even recognize his face? <laughs> well, show me your cock. <laughs> well, that's why I didn't recognize him. Yeah. <laughs> No, we, uh, oh God, this is a busy week for unsubscribe. Yeah. We have our, we can talk about it now because this is going to come out in seven months, nine yeah. months, something like that. Uh, range day is tomorrow <laughs> where we've literally just gone through our DMs and invited everyone who we know to come shoot machine guns. Including the cartel, apparently. They're coming. Yes, they're coming. <laughs> the guests don't know it yet, but it should be quite fun. <laughs> Interactive targets. Hard cut to screaming. <laughs> this, is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna age really poorly if that happens. Oh yeah, very. We're just gonna G Van. Let's uh, cut all this out. Oh, no, but he's there. Oh, no, yeah, so I could just look up past the camera this time. Dude, G Van did have the text. He's like, "Who's Jamie?" Uh, Donut keeps saying, "Jamie, pull that up," and I don't know who that is. I saw I was, you put the text on it. You and you're like, "Who the fuck is Jamie?" <laughs> I'd explain. I was like, "Okay, so Joe Rogan has his guy that pulls stuff up. That is Jamie." He's like, "Oh, that makes oh sense. Yeah, hey Jamie, pull that shit up." Yeah, now you don't you, know you don't watch Joe Rogan? Oh my god, <laughs> dude, come on. You're fine. Uh, Could you? Let's let's chill out because his odds of coming on the podcast are starting to dip now. So uh. <laughs> fuck that. What are the odds you dress like that and don't watch Joe Rogan? <laughs> You're like the one motherfucker on the planet. Well, this is a random military <laughs> slash police guy coming into town, which describes him to a T. Motherfucker, you got a black slash. baseball cap on with an American flag with an AR-15 on it, and you're wearing a flannel shirt that says "Downrange," and you've never watched Joe Rogan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know how that's possible. I quit. 
Yeah. On this episode of Unsubscribed. It's like, am I talking to the camera or am I talking to this fucking guy right here? Yeah, G Man just changes clothes. He's like, I'm fucked. The whole audience is like, wait, is he actually there right now? Or are they just talking to him through the screen? Oh, yeah, by the way, how's, how's life after the accident? Oh, yeah. I hate we, you, motherfuckers. <laughs> Why? It was a, what, what it was a self-sucking accident. I think it was a self-sucking was a, accident. Yeah. You know how flexible I would have to be to pull that off? We Spons, all know that spines. Nick is partial to the SS. <laughs> how y'all been? It's good to have you finally back. I explained yesterday that the hosts are going to rotate. It's not going to be all four all the time. Because then when we have multiple guests, it gets too chaotic. Like... Five is a lot. It's People. wild. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking chaos. Four is where we like to keep it. Two is boring. Two is very fucking two boring. Two is boring. The horror is so the downfall hilarious. of something if you do two. <laughs> <laughs> I was going for innuendo. But... Did you bring your fucking multi tool back onto this podcast? No. Hey. I, I, I mean, it's your podcast too, buddy. I can't it's say his emotional support Look, multi tool now. How else am I supposed to open my beers? Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't okay, yeah. That's fuck, I can't open my Guinness with a, a tab like you can open your fucking seltzer with. Don't worry about my seltzer. You got this hard ass table right here. <laughs> God damn it. So we got the range day coming up. You invited a billion, fo- well, everyone invited a billion Literally people. A billion Last year, people. how many people showed up? Yeah, the, the April range day, because we only do these like two, three times a year. We had what, 60, 70 people show up, I think. Yeah, it was this bare one's... minimum 50. Like, and a lot of like, these are like big creators too. <laughs> and, and athletes and politicians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got some big boys coming this time. So fighters. Our, yeah, our boy Chuck is coming. Chuck Liddell is coming. Ken. Um, yeah, Tim Tim, Tim Kennedy. Kennedy. Uh, we um, got uh, Goldberg. He's been the homie lately. He's coming. Junior um, Dos Santos. Yeah, uh, Junior Dos Santos. Wait, um, Junior Dos Santos. Is yes. Coming? Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, on his way that's right what now. I yeah. said. Uh, Chris Wood is picking him up right now from the airport. We have un- <laughs> Caleb Wait, for real. Yeah. Yes. 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 What the <laughs> fuck? Caleb Francis got the Undertaker to come. Like. He's going to be there. Hey, Undertaker, gonna, you want to yeah. come to the oh, ring? To Dude, I, I hit up uh, uh, Steve Austin and invited him. He, he, ac- he actually responded. He was Stone like, nah. Cold? Yeah, he was like, I got something. I got something I'm doing. But what the fuck? For the photo shoot, can all four of us recreate the Undertaker meme? Can that be one of the pictures? What's, wait, what's that? With the Undertaker in the, in the background, background and the one dude's you, happy. It's just us happy and the Undertaker the behind him. No, it looks. Did you see the group chat where the guy looks just like Brandon? <laughs> Jamie, pull this up. <laughs> Did you see that, Eli? He's gonna no. quit. <laughs> the fucking Undertaker meme where he's standing behind the guy. Who's the guy with the long hair in that meme? I actually don't know, but it was in the group chat like last night, I thought. We have like, God, childhood. E- oh, yes. Oh my but God. But it looks like that Brandon. <laughs> it's like, no, we, we gotta get the so Undertaker. So I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> G Man. Yeah, well, that one. Pull that one up. With, with Brandon. <laughs> is pull De- up. Pull up. Is right Deontay now. Wilder also coming? <laughs> His camera goes in front of yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Deontay Wilder. Is that's coming. The, Jesus Christ. Wait, what? Really? Deontay yeah. Wilder's coming, yeah. I give up. This is our range day, and like I give up. I give yeah, up I on <laughs> fucking no one. We're is. having UFC 300 here, yeah. <laughs> essentially, well, I, I, with I, all the fighters. Dude, Dana White just like fucking helicopters <laughs> in. He's like, I smelled money. <laughs> I mean, here, here's the thing. Has anybody invited him? Because he would probably show up. At this point, we should all send the same DM to him and see if he responds to one of us. It's, we're like writing letters to Santa over here. Look, we invite him once, and then if he doesn't respond, we spread the rumor that it's actually everybody coming together to start an MMA fighters union. Then he'll show up. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're slapping <laughs> well, then he's just going to sue the shit out of us. <laughs> There's a lot of slapping going money. on, Dana. I know you're into that recently. Yep. God, like, I forgot about that. Last four. What this last forty? Yeah, stuff? I, forgot that, I forgot the that he world. was involved. He bought it out, I think. Or he uh, part, what are the odds that that was just one of the world's best marketing schemes ever? It's doing very, very, yeah. very, very fucking good. I mean, all you have on. to do is Chris Brown your wife, and you know, on a teleprompter <laughs> or on a, a fucking yeah. What? That's too far, really? It's just no, not for no, me. Just say the N word next, dude. Let's get, <laughs> let's get it over that's with. That's a mighty this <laughs> That's these are that's why you guys are some of my favorite people is that good quality life advice like oh fuck it bro just say the n word <laughs> <laughs> wait you're running for Congress just have you, you seen my new shirt no, 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 no. it says fuck it bro just say what the n word what was it go joke? check out that merch here god damn it oh you. nerd again nerd in the, the comments. comments well that's a lot bigger deal because the fridge is broke and none of them are cold except for like five and he keeps spilling the only cold ones we have Jesus. So, who, who was the, <laughs> so this fucking fridge. No, I'm going to, mm, 
So yesterday, okay, so the 20th. <laughs> oh, we're going there right 20, now. Yeah, I'll fucking <laughs> crucify them for this. I went on the 20th. Things that make Eli irrationally <laughs> angry. The 20th, I Volume went. Volume three. This fucking fridge, I had to show up multiple times for it to get fixed. They couldn't fix it. So we're like, okay, I'm going to just go get a new f- fridge. I'll get it. I'll go to Home Depot, get that situated. Boom. Oh, I love this LG. It's like $700. That's great, lady. Here, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> What day? I was like, just sooner than later. She's like, okay, well, we have it on the 6th of uh, December. I was like, ah, oh, that's the day before the range day. Fucking perfect. We'll roll it out. So they bring the motherfucking fridge around or? So yesterday <laughs> I didn't hear from anyone. No phone call, no nothing. I was like, okay, well, I'll just check what time is going to come in today. Call. Hey. Hey. Uh, and it. The call, I have to call the number to LG because they're shipping it though. So I was like, hey, LG, uh, this is where is the fridge or when is it? Oh, um, yeah. So uh, it gets there the 20th now. Why am I just figuring this out right now? I ordered it on the 20 to the 20th of last month and they were That's like, That's a really cool two weeks later than was said. Yeah. So calling, I'm like, hey, well, you, I need to know where the fucking fridge is because I have people coming into town to stay at the house. So we need to furnish. Food and everything like that. Oh, well, <clears throat> no, we, we gave you a call. The, no, I did not get a single fucking call. They're like, yeah, we did. What day did you call me? So I can just check my phone log. What? Um, well, here, can we go to your my manager instead? I'm like, mm-hmm. okay. Call the ma- They send me to the manager. Oh, yeah, no, we can't do anything. It's this day. We sent you an email about it. I was like, okay, so the first person sent me an email. The second person sent me a call. Back and forth, manager was like, oh. It was like, when's the email sent out so I can fucking check that? Oh, we, oh, uh, good. <laughs> yeah. but, well, yeah, so but, and at this point, you're like, well, for the 87th day in a row, looks like warm beer and DoorDash. <laughs> exactly. I was like, it's been two fucking months. They wanted me to wait from the 20th the order till literally 30 days later for a fucking refrigerator to get delivered. Thankfully, we have the baby fridge over there that's what if, keeping what if five we, White Claws cold. What if we had an actual baby that needed their milk to be cold, you know? <laughs> living, they don't know. Living you have the worst house. customer service history of anyone I've ever fucking seen. Like, remember your, your wheels last oh, year? Oh, no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we, we, bullied, your, we fucking bullied some random... Uh, <laughs> internet <laughs> rim some ca- service. Yeah, some rim <laughs> service uh, <laughs> manager. And just, like... <laughs> So we're bananas. What's <laughs> anything but that? Well, thankfully, like, well, LG can go fuck themselves because they were like, I fucked. Fuck <laughs> what is that, that we said earlier? Life is not good. <laughs> I was like, fuck them people. Here. Got to Home Depot. I was like, fuck it. What can you guys do? And they're like, well, nothing. You have to go to Home Depot, cancel the order, and then we can get you a new one now. ASAP. I was like, can you get one tomorrow? No. Then why the fuck do I care about that? Well, when you get to Home Depot, just have them call and then we can work out a discount. I'm like, you want me to do more work? Dude, LG, isn't LG, LG's like part of Raytheon or something? They're going to drop a goddamn drone on this house. Wait, are they? Wait, are they? No, I, I don't know. Oh, you <laughs> scared me. Every large company makes military <laughs> great oh, equipment on no, the side. Oh, yeah, read so. that out loud. Uh, no, yeah, read that out loud. I want to hear this. Wait, what? Oh, uh, well, Eli, I'm going to have you read the yeah, top Yeah, you part. read that part. Who owns LG? Who and how? Okay, there you go. Thank you. Uh, LG it's not Corporation cool in the house. Do, do the it in the voice. Doesn't fucking work. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Formerly known as Lucky Gold Star, is a South Korean multinational conglomerate founded in. I like you. Asian same man. same word. Oh. Cool in how? Thank you. <laughs> and managed by successive generations of his family, it is the fourth largest uh, cape, uh, cabal in uh, South Korea. Yeah, this is the most Asian name though. The other one, what is it? Lucky Gold Star. Lucky go, lucky. Um, <laughs> what? Excuse me. Lucky Costa. Lucky Costa. I sent you that fucking that video yesterday. Those were the inhibitions dying in real time. <laughs> Cody sent one of the greatest videos. I, we we're just dis- okay. So this is an actual thing. Oh, so it God. is. It affects 150 people in the world. This lady got it from a migraine. It can happen from different shit. It is a sudden accent that just pops into existence. Oh, and hilarious. you cannot. It's just there. It was a British lady, right? This was Australian or British? I don't, I don't I've know. I've seen it They're multiple times. But right? she, Australian or British lady who got a Chinese accent. And she was like, I've, 
like, wait. <laughs> I went to an Australian. to you because I was like, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was so good because she's like, um, go to, okay, there we go. The Kate, okay, there we go. She was like, I don't want this accent. Do not want this. I would not have chose this. Very angry. I am not Chinese. Never been to China. <laughs> And the yeah. doctor's like, yeah, this is a real thing. She's never going to get yeah, rid of this. she just had a headache one day, and now she has that accent. And that's <laughs> all great until you're a white guy in Harlem that gets a very <laughs> unfortunate <laughs> accent. Well, we're saying Cody getting an Indian accent. He just wakes up one day. <laughs> He's so angry. He can't threaten anybody for yeah, now. You, you, if you have a, an, if, if you speak, in, yeah, if you speak English, you have an Indian accent. You don't. You can't sound aggressive <laughs> whatsoever. The mil- it's that one meme. It's a uh, what scamming. My Indian accent, a million dollars. Oh, God. <laughs> Nothing makes me more positive life is a simulation than that disease, disease medical condition, whatever. Yeah. Like, Ow, you, my head hurts. Suddenly I have an accent. <laughs> just somebody fucked up the settings on the computer <laughs> in the simulation. <laughs> I, saw exactly one, what it is. I saw one the other day. It's like this whole simulation theory is just religion for edgy atheists. They're like, oh, yeah, there's no intelligent design or, uh, or God or anything like that. There's just... We're all living in a simulation created by something bigger and smarter than us that, <clears throat> fuck. Uh, <laughs> this is us. Yeah, it is uh, that with, and that's crazy. That lady, she she has very good, like that is a Chinese accent. And when solid. She, she hates it. Like you can see it in her <laughs> eyes. She is not happy <laughs> that she has that accent, which makes it or so much better. she's a comedian <laughs> just really dedicated to the bit. So good. She's pulling the, the whole Sam Hyde. She's, she's, she's doing the ghost of Katie. <laughs> Refuses to break character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the ghost of Kiev. Yeah, speaking of other people. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sam Hyde's coming to range today, oh, I God. think. I don't know. So of all, by, <laughs> by now we'll know, but I don't know if he's going to fucking behave. Those are the ones where it's like we have... If Rain's he's, he's going to not behave around Deontay Wilder and Junior Dos Santos, I'm there to watch. <laughs> <laughs> as a, as a, he's actually a really fucking good boxer. Like he's really into boxing. So uh, I would assume not he'll... Deontay Wilder. Good. No, no, no. That's what I. That, that, uh, that's that what I head, head just disappears when that man punches. Him. That's what I'm saying. He knows better. He's good enough in boxing to know like. Ooh, this guy will kill me. No, nah, we we wouldn't have invited him out if we thought he was going to like do a Sam Hyde character, which he might still. But I know he's not going to be. I safe probably would have, I would have still invited him out. But I well, yeah, that's the thing. He's a gun guy too. <laughs> Good luck, have fun. <laughs> he's a gun guy too, so I don't think he's going to be unsafe. He might no. be a troll, but I don't might, know, I'm, it might be a troll. I'm here for it. I'm well, entertained. What, what's funny about this whole event that we put together is like I was saying earlier, we just invited a bunch of people in our DMs that we know are creators. And I've had a couple of message me and it's like, oh, this guy's going to be there. So we're just dropping them all in the pot and seeing what happens. Making a stew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Every, here we go. It's Every, like, let them cook. <laughs> Every YouTube gossip reactionary channel sitting there like, oh, I have so much content. For right. Which is Coffeezilla months. coming? Uh, Coffeezilla? Yeah, yeah, he's coming. No so shit. he's going to be there in real time just recording like, yes. Yeah, I got all this. Who's doing the scam today? He's fucking one of my... He's such a good YouTuber. I'm excited to see him. I mean, you got Windigoon. You have... And Oompa literally, uh, Oompa's yeah. coming. Oompa. Yeah. Everyone's going to be there. And it is that chaos. Of how many people are showing up? It's like, Fuck. dude, we don't even know. Hundreds. It's like, it's going to be at least 150. I'd this say. is that Demo's new place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the abandoned resort that he got. So it's a couple hundred Cave acres, one. and he's got, dude, his range looks fucking epic right now. Dude, I was seeing those videos of it. It looks fucking insane right now. You guys went today, right? No, we, no, we haven't gone yet. I haven't seen the new the new range, uh, the, the berm he built up. He built up like a 20-foot berm with railroad ties and all sorts of shit. It's, it's a cool legit. range. Which is crazy he's doing it like days before it's also great when you're when you have influencers that you don't know their familiarity with machine guns and things so like you can only have so many rso's so you know a lot of them have a tendency to start here and end here so you, you definitely want to make sure you got a nice tall berm like like demos got and that's well shout out to 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 jt jared taylor he has like 10 to 15 uh, uh, JTAC ties. guys coming out. Or TACP. TACP, sorry. TACP guys. I don't know shit. And they're going to be the RSOs for us tomorrow. So thank you, JT, for JT, doing that for go, us. Go check out Time for Pie and Caleb. Time for Pie. Very good podcast. It, it kind of, It's kind of like this. Just a couple boys. A couple dudes being guys. Dudes being bros. Yeah. Just bros being bros. Being dudes. <laughs> dudes being guys. I'm not your friend, pal. <laughs> not your Jamie, pal, guy. Pull, Jamie, pull up Time for Pie right here. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's go to that episode. Poor G man. He's like, yeah, we're crushing out. We have is this some a crossover pro- episode? Should be. We need to get them back on. They haven't been on in a while. I love any of the story times with Caleb and Jerry. His just story fucking times chaos. are so fucking ridiculous. The boy goes fucking off the walls. Brandon's got you. Side note, I don't know if we discussed this. Your video, um, and this is coming out well after, you'll be already elected probably, but oh, your God. your gun buyback video, the sheer, no one expected it to blow up to the degree that that thing took off I thought off maybe a million it. views. That what, was, are you, what are you at right now? Like 4.2. 4.2 million, I think. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Two weeks? It got, weeks? it got to 3 million in like five days. And that was such a good time too, man. That was easy. We were like just chilling, j- joking, laughing, and talking to the police when they would just come up, and everyone was super nice. Like well, there were a couple comments too. They're like, "You guys were annoying the police." It's like, no, they were coming up and taking pictures with us. They loved yeah. us being out there. The it's reaction like, when you took your glasses off, because <laughs> that was like, "You're donut." Oh, whoa, <laughs> fuck. I Dude, love, come I here. Mean, you're you're annoying the police. It's like what we made them do the job they're paid to do and come up and say, "Hey, you can't be here." I don't think that's annoying. Yeah, like, we're not did, being we're not trolling the police. No, we, like, we did get kicked out of the event, but you know that happens. But we I were guess. nice to him the whole time. Yeah, like, yeah, it's okay. You're you're doing the job that these cocks hired you to do. Hey, the new year is here, and whether you're making big changes or just falling back into your consistent routine, chances are you could use some audio accompaniment on your journey. I know for me, it's crucial. Raycon's everyday earbud looks, feels, and sounds better than ever with optimized gel tips for perfect in-ear placement. Ah, these earbuds are so comfortable and they will not budge. It's no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. The fact is a good pair of wireless earbuds is indispensable in 2024. And for premier audio at the perfect price point, you gotta go Raycon. Raycons are priced just right for you. You get quality audio at half the price of other premier audio brands. I love them because they fit my ear real nice and it has noise canceling stuff. Science. And I do use these every single time I'm at the gym. Why? Because you've seen me whip my head back and forth. Head over to buyraycon.com slash unsub and get 15% off your Raycon order today. Yeah, your 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 line, um, or not your line, but what you said when the cop came up and was like, hey guys, what are you doing? You're like, we're making a private private gun sale right yeah. now. Just flat out told him what we're doing. Yeah, he was cool about it. But yeah. then those dipshit event organizers were like, he can't be here. The Karens oh. were in the background. The 120 actually, pound actually soy boy with like the fucking like Starbucks beard. Yeah. He was just yeah. watching. Watching as the police Dude. came over and like, hey, you guys. He can't stalked do this us the whole hey. time. You saw that. Yeah, like, he, he, yeah, he was following us, us down time. down the street when we were walking and stuff. Real cool. Good. Dude, th- thank you for saving San Antonio for gun crime. Single <laughs> man that kicked us out and had us trespassed. What well, was crazy watching some of those firearms that were was it not dropped off? It was in a public. Yeah, it was. Yeah. How did you get trespassed from public? Well, uh, the so, private parking lot. It was. Well, no, that's still owned by the, the Alamo Dome. Uh, the oh, Alamo no Dome shit. is owned by the city of San Antonio. But they had a permit for parking lot B. Mm. We were on parking lot C, and I'm kind of curious if there's not a case to be made there. I don't mm. know. I don't care enough. Legality. You know, they, it was it was too long of a line. They couldn't just stay in parking no. lot B. It was, so I'm like, that Wait was a crazy. I didn't know so many people were going to show up. There were hundreds Ooh, of. I was people worried there. not enough people would show up for a good video. We didn't like just for reference. We sat there for an hour and moved one spot. It was horrific. So and there was lines that wait. would have to go through before us. That's why they sold out of everything. So instantly. next time, can you get a permit for every parking lot surrounding their one parking lot? Possibly. And then not letting their lines on your parking lot because you have the permit? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Can that be where we host ComCon? <laughs> just that one? We're just oh, shouting <laughs> slurs in the other parking lots? <laughs> I'm gone. No, you know, like I fucking hate people who turn in their guns. <laughs> Dude, a fucking PA yeah, if, if, you, if you haven't seen the video, we were sitting there so long. Brandon just got out of the truck and was going up to the cars around us like, hey, do you have a gun you're trying to sell? We have cash. We'll pay you for your gun. Yeah. And some people didn't want to do it because I was slightly brown. brown. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I should have that one. It's like, not to you, but the white guy in the back. Next time I'm wearing my firearm. (laughs) I'm going to be wearing a suit next time and be like, hello, sir. Would you like to sell your firearm? Use my best white voice ever or something. (laughs) Yeah. White Uh, man here. Not to have the air here, but Mr. Johnson, you can have it. (laughs) That's neither of our names, but okay. (laughs) 
I'm not a Smith, but I, all right, I'll buy your gun. Well, they had a, did they had like an unfired fully automatic Uzi someone dropped yeah, off for a two hundred dollar two hundred dollar <laughs> gift card to get turkey. Bro, yeah. was it H-E-B like gift uh, cards? What, was it like uh, what's what's the rule when it was? So like pre-band? transferable, any, any but yeah, trans- pre-band was it transferable? We don't know if it's a pre-band so, or what, but so pre band pre-band is like '90s uh, assault weapons band. Transferable is like pre '86. '86, that's what yeah. I mean. It's like that '86, and we don't know if it was. Because if it's one of those. those, that was like a fifty thousand dollar, thirty thousand oh, dollar yeah. gun. Wasn't oh it? yeah, it was like, a thirty thousand dollar gun. Yeah, twenty to thirty for sure. Transferable guns are worth a lot of money. <laughs> And well, and just the fact that it was a full was fucking auto, new in box, never fired. Which also, yeah, you did such a great job of stopping crime. That fucking new in the new in the fucking pack and peanuts, unfired gun really was a danger on the streets. Because they had those. They had we seen a couple ARs. They were like optics were on stuff. It was. Dude, scoped I, I, hunting rifles. Like, Most yeah, of it was SKS. like hunting rifles and sh- oh, that SKS Model D. I'm still fucking sore about that. Had the yeah, fucking yeah. bayonet on it. Yeah, that was a solid, and he saw it from the street. We were we were fifty yards away, and Brandon's like, "Wait, that's a, that's a, <laughs> SKSD like, no. model with a bayonet." Fuck me! No, 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 sir! No, 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 if you have a full auto, I don't understand how you're like, yeah, hundred percent. Give me two hundred dollar gift card for this. You it's, had it's to have of, the knowledge passed down to you. It's like well, this is worth a lot well, of fucking. It's probably money. a lot of guys who like, or people who had their like grandfather die, had it in the attic, and they're like, oh yeah, I remember grandpappy showing me that at one point. Sure could use two hundred dollars around Thanksgiving right about now. And they knew nothing about guns. It's like God damn it, dude. Google exists for a fucking reason like just just look at just a little how much is an uzi that's all they had to do we would have easily given 10 20 grand for that gun well, uh, although i would have had to really check that gun for sure <laughs> like, wait 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 wait, 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 so, wait, wait. So, so brandon did have up the, the hot what is it called the hot, hot guns the hot guns there's, there's ways you can you can check to make sure that it's not in like a stolen gun database yeah. and stuff the first one was that chrome nickel plated one you're like uh, I'm going to check this one first. It looked like an evidence locker gun. <laughs> Dude, that, that was a drop was, gun, 100%. <laughs> well, so the cool part was a lot of these guys are, are fans. that are they're, they're flat out telling us. They're like, hey, dude, we love your shit, guys. Like, oh, unsubscribe. This is so fucking cool. Uh, we're we're just here for Congress as they drive by. They're, like, they're not oh. there to turn in their guns because they're worried about gun violence. They're like, we know this is worth less than the gift card. Can we talk about also the people showing up and like bullying people on that side of it where you're like, guys, don't do, don't be that. If you, you want to win, saw, pe- like somebody was like shouting at people. Yeah, there was there were some of the guys there that weren't even trying to buy guns. They're open. They're open carrying ARs, which is legal. It's it's you know, that's you can do that. You but there were some guys. Cool. I want everyone to know. <laughs> but in they my were, opinion, you do not look cool doing that. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> not exactly a great hearts and minds <laughs> thing. Yeah, <laughs> imagine, imagine you're not in this world, and a guy with a slung AR is on the sidewalk going, "You're fuck you. You're doing the wrong thing." It's like, come on, like, man. There's that's my right. I'm like, I agree with you, and I would fight for that right. You still look like a dickhead. Yeah, you chased off a lot of our cells that <laughs> we could save so many guns. <laughs> Roll up the windows. <laughs> but we were, I mean, we were being completely nice. Everyone were like, hello, sir. Would you like, we, we would like to give you cash for this. Uh, it would be great if you would sell us this gun. And we still had so many people that were just like, no, no, I don't want to do that. Well, even Speak- even for reference, the, uh, those old ladies that were like, they're moms against gun violence or whatever it was. And they, they were, were super, super nice. sweet. So they were like the they, sweetest Moms ladies. demand action chicks. Yeah, yeah, they were sweet as hell. And then like, and we were sweet back. You know why? Because it's like, well, they'll walk away and be like, those guys were really nice. And vice versa, what we're saying now, those yeah, ladies they, they were came very up, nice. They were offering us like free snacks and water yeah, and they things. They had a, wag- a any, wagon with snacks and stuff. And they saw what we were doing. They were just like, you guys want some water? We're like, yeah, no, 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 thank, thank you, you, man. Like, Appreciate that you. That is how you win the hearts and minds. It's like doing that nice thing because now you're creating dialogue or even us telling or you could a be thousand a, people right now. <laughs> or you could be a high blood pressure American with like just fucking <laughs> shouting slurs at them. <laughs> Flagging guns as they come by. <laughs> what was me, dumb bitch? <laughs> yeah, like you said, it's not how hearts and minds works, no. man. We got to I got to work on that. Although speaking of open carrying uh long arms, there's a really cool Texas law that I, I think I read into the other day. It, this is a while ago, so I'm paraphrasing this, but uh it's it's illegal to be intoxicated. While carrying a, a handgun in public. Or no, wait, I, I isn't it all firearms? I think, but but long long rifles? 
I think it's uh, something, there's some stipulation. It's like one of those holdover from the, the cowboy days where it's like you cannot be open carrying a long gun while, quote, noticeably inebriated. Oh, that's that's, just, that's so basically you can't just be like belligerent. Some congressman was like, I'm fucking, we may hate drink and hunt. It's 100% <laughs> what that was. 100%. What the fuck else was I supposed to do? 100% you fucking do that's this. Exactly, I mean, for yeah, I don't know. Texas has tiny little anorexic deer anyways. It doesn't matter. Hey, we got axes too. We got axes. Yeah, dude. Axes are the good deer. Yeah, can you shoot axes all year round where you're Bro. from? You uh, axes taste better than white tail. You can Italy. shoot buffalo I got, here. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I got buffalo in Iowa too. Show me the fucking Iowa buffalo. I got one like two miles from my house. Are you serious? Yes. He no just shit. lives. Some he has property. A buffalo. Yeah. I guarantee you ours one? are bigger. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> it's enough. He just talk shit. It's buff. enough to talk shit. I'm just trying to win a point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how <laughs> I don't think that's enormous. all Nick cares about. He's like, I'm just trying to win a fucking point. I don't care about anything else. It's like this little like fucking mini cow type of buffalo bullshit. No, no, it's it's like you drive by, you're like, is that a fucking buffalo? <laughs> like they had to put signs up because it was causing car wrecks near this fucking buffalo. Like, yes, it's a buffalo. Come Don't see the around. one of a kind <laughs> Iowa Buffalo. That's exactly correct. <laughs> yeah, the, off the highway as the arrow. Well, it's like here in Texas. 500 miles away. Yeah. Like, we got to take it's this It's like detour. the south of the border fucking bullshit. We're it's here in Texas. Buffalo. 300 <laughs> miles left for the <laughs> Iowa Buffalo. Yeah, you'll drive by someone's ranch and they just have like fucking buffaloes and giraffes and all sorts of crazy shit. That's just common, and shit. Yeah, it's commonplace here, here in Texas. That's I, the worst part about the gun buyback video is that someone wasn't there because they don't live in Texas. But. Yeah. Sucks, you but know, it's fine. It was a self sucking accident that <laughs> you caused know how that. Fucking or something? mad I was when I found out I can't legally own a kangaroo in Iowa after I saw Zeus's. <laughs> how does <laughs> he own that? Is that no? It's, that's a hundred percent legal in like twenty eight states. You got a fucking tiger here, dude. You can have anything. Yeah. The globalists don't want you to know. You buy a kangaroo. What's the the Joe Rogan stat? Not that fucking G Van would know, but that Joe Rogan thing where like there's more <laughs> tigers in captivity. Yep. In Texas, that are privately owned than all of the wild on the planet. I did all the rest of the that. world combined. I think, right? Yeah, those are the only animals I would not fucking own. Those and you got China repoing all the goddamn pandas, <laughs> bastards. I don't want a monkey. Oh, what happened? This? <laughs> Why would you? I don't want. I don't want. <laughs> you Every time someone says I don't want to own an uh, exotic animal, you know, <laughs> it comes down to you remember the lady that got her jaw ripped off by the fucking orangutan, and yeah. I think it was California. Was it an orangutan? Yeah, or just yeah. a chimp. No, it was or a uh, it was a chimpanzee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Monkeys yeah. are fucking mean. Have you read yeah, into like terrifying. the Jane Goodall shit? Have you seen how jacked they are? Like the, the hairless the ones. Yeah, dude, the hairless chimps are the most terrifying thing. But dude, yeah. even well, the, Jane Goodall, like the fucking like savior of the apes and shit, she's just like, oh yeah, no, these be they're fucking violent. The they like, murder they will each just other. Murder each other. They will have fucking gang wars for fun. People don't understand. They they will. Have you watched the videos and docs on that, Cody or Nick? They like they. Get together, they use weapon, they'll use sticks and stuff, and then they surround an opposing tribe and then just murder them all. And then they take that little area. Apes. That's fucking crazy that they commit like it's genocide. In our DNA. Like, I got yeah, what, yeah, what, what happened in that incident <laughs> is one of her friends had come over. I I I could be misremembering this, but like took a toy <laughs> that the oh yep that the monkey liked and it just went fucking crazy and ripped her jaw off. So I was like really curious because everybody's like, oh, chimpanzees five times stronger than a grown ass man. And I'm like, yeah, they're only like 110 pounds. I'm like, there's no way that fucker bench presses more than me. So I like, I got mad about it. Right. So I'm like, I don't understand the science involved for this. <laughs> and what, what I figured out what it was is like, so the reason they're like, quote unquote, so much stronger than people is they don't have fine motor skills. Like they can't do this shit. They couldn't ever write or anything like that. So what like, a bunch of dumbasses. So it's, it's, it's tampered. So like they can kind of grab stuff gentle, but like if there's any amount of adrenaline in them, they're they like they don't go like I'm gonna grab this water bottle. They're like, ah! <laughs> oh shit! Jesus Christ! I didn't know that was full. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was empty. And then there were two that weren't cut off. <laughs> yeah, you were making fun of me like three seconds up. ago, and you literally wasted an entire cold white cloth. That was yeah. I thought me and Brandon liked to drink. Jesus, Jesus Christ, guys. Fuck. Well, thank God we can pick up white claws without spilling it all over our fancy well, equipment. Some of us can. You know? some, I mean, some, some of us can. can. <laughs> Wasn't we just fucking talking about fine motor skills? <laughs> and I, all I, fine I, mean, motor I was showing an example of bad motor skills, so it worked out. <laughs> and short-term memory. <laughs> you literally... <laughs> ooga booga. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Fuckhead. 
<laughs> yeah, please don't rip my fucking lower jaw off, dude. That would be horrible. Uh, oh, God. Oh, oh, no. God. Uh, the white claw opened oh, the settings. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, actually, we're fine now. I don't know what that just did for a second, though. What? There might be something temporarily. What but is our should degree be of confidence that it's okay? We only have a two-minute window where, where it's yeah, fucked up, so I we're good. Somebody's mic is muted, though. Wait. Uh, Are you bu- 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 with me? Number hey, th- hey, is, hey. Is number three. Check, 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 check. See how it's uh, highlighted red? Jamie, jump on Amazon. Okay. <laughs> now we're good. Can we buy new hosts that don't spill things? I'm like, what the fuck just happened? No. Okay, now we're good. Right? Okay. Holy fucking shit. No, it's fine. I know. Uh, Cody, can I get your voice real quick? Ooga booga. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it sounded racist when you did that. <laughs> Jesus, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to hold back with what we're talking about right now. Jesus. Stop. Just, why was I offended when you bro, said that? <laughs> if, if Brandon wins and becomes a fucking congressman. Don't worry, you guys are going to make sure that's never going to be a problem. Campaign, <laughs> your campaign manager is going to be a fucking legend in the campaign manager business. He's already probably <laughs> contemplating. He's not very happy. He does it though. Like he's getting the MVP award forever. We probably can't talk about it, but some of the texts that I've seen, you're like, my campaign manager. Some of my communications, <laughs> and I, to be fair, my, my campaign, my primary consultant, very, like, very smart guy, very sharp guy. I, he's genuinely good at his job. Um, some of the things <laughs> that he sends me, like, I would reframe from X. <laughs> and just in, in a vacuum, I know I've showed you all the text. In a vacuum is fucking hysterical to me. Because he doesn't get this kind of humor. Is it no better than, well, us, Reddit, everyone? It's like the pattern on the back wall there. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we none of us, but you all found it. I didn't get it. I, feel, I felt like a good guy. Yeah, I did. It took me a while. I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? Three, two, one. (laughs) (laughs) Her feet kicking out like this. It's like, uh, who who, was it? Was it show that was saying or someone saying the other day when you say like and subscribe, it picks up your voice now and your little bell like does a thing on on YouTube. So if you look into the camera and say, please like and subscribe. It, it work? does something. Did that work? And if, if it didn't, go ahead and click the buttons just to see if it worked. But that just means they're monitoring our every word when we put out YouTube videos. So oh, you it did. was great being on YouTube for the years you that I was that? on there. I always figured too, I didn't know. I knew that I was, I, just I knew, based off of caption, I was like, they know everything. And that's how they can tell when we're talking about. Oh, no. Because I didn't uh, know it was that deep. Though. I forget the YouTuber, but one YouTuber did a like an experiment where he just loaded his YouTube video with a bunch of random words that he it knew would PewDiePie. pay. Is that who did PewDiePie, it? PewDiePie, because he, he just, he was like, hey, he, I'm experimenting with different AdSense things. Uh, real estate stuff does really well. Real estate, you want to buy a house, buying a home, 30-year mortgage, and just like told his audience he was going to just pepper off that all in. these. Yeah, like, he probably made 45 grand off of that AdSense. Probably, that yeah. Wait, it was... No, like he made more money because um, the YouTube algorithm wants to match up ads. So like... Uh, financial Fitness. advice people get the most CPMs on YouTube. Like they get paid the most per view because they're talking about financial stuff. And YouTube knows that like, Oh, um, fucking Geico pays a lot of money and Boy, they, they yeah. only want to air on like Dave Ramsey's channel or whatever. So if you just rattle off, like, you know, like Anything real, real estate, yeah. investing, the stock market up, down, blah, blah, blah. You're more likely to get matched up with those higher paying ads. Speaking of which, <laughs> I'm really looking at buying a multi million dollar home. Yeah. Multi million dollar home with multi million dollar real estate. Do you need with insurance my multi- for that home? Yes. <laughs> insurance. And I would like to learn how to invest to make sure I can continue to With your multi million dollar mortgage. investments for yes. your mortgage. I would exactly. also like to <laughs> work out in that home with a home gym. <laughs> And a personal trainer that I also pay millions of dollars. I'm into fitness. And he's going to have insurance too. (laughs) And there's insurance for my fitness. Everyone's like, I would rather you just do an ad. (laughs) 
Step into 2024 with confidence. Thanks to Manscaped, we're revolution through net. As the new year approaches, why not make your self-appearance a breeze by keeping your body well-groomed? Introducing the Manscaped Performance Package 5.0 Plus Premium Ultra. Razors, beard cream, brushes, cowboy hats, ultra. The ultimate inclusive kit to help you feel clean cut and confidence as you should. Featuring the powerhouse lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. This next gen trimmer ensures precision and ease when tackling your toughest hairs. So kick off 2024 with the trim above the rest and use code unsub at manscaped.com and save yourself 20% off and free shipping. What are some of your resolutions this year? <laughs> Minus to trim the twig and berries because the tree looks bigger when shrubs aren't around. What about you, Cody? What are you gonna do? I'm shaving my pubes. Audience, do you know what I love about Manscaped stuff? It's waterproof. Manscaped also threw in two free gifts for you. The Boxers 2.0 and the Shed 2.0 toiletry bag. Now, resolutions may come and go, but a well-groomed you is here to stay thanks to Manscaped's latest and greatest. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with code UNSA. Happy New Year's to your balls. <laughs> <laughs> like, please. Please leave a comment <laughs> about what, how expensive the home you want to buy is. Please just leave, do a fucking ad. Yeah, like, but it, yeah, it's fitness at the same time too. It's fitness and fucking uh, Which, oh, financial stuff. Is fitness stuff. really high too? Oh, I whoa, fitness is ridiculous. I don't yeah, have, surprise let me. us know how we helped your fitness journey in the comments below. Was it, speaking of fitness, that one dude. The what? livers are commenting. <laughs> <laughs> dude, if we get our blood work done pretty fucking often. My liver enzymes are flawless. Yeah, which is who it's weird. Kind yeah, of incredible. Give it a minute. Don't, I, but that's going to go to your guys' heads. I know you both. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a fucking hallway pass for you guys. Yeah. Good <laughs> blood work once. See? I can go harder. <laughs> We're just like, it's Tom, a challenge. Tom Cruise in the beginning of the new Top Gun, like more, faster, <laughs> harder. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't even we pushing my liver. Break <laughs> up into orbit. Bro, yeah. we were placing on easy mode. Let's crank up the difficulty. <laughs> Close that laptop. You're like, uh, liver's just like, fuck, dude, doctor, why don't you just lie about it? Just <laughs> why don't you tell them they're fucked? <laughs> it was seriously straight up like, and I know it was the same with you in the beginning when we first started getting our blood work done. Just like, wait a minute, hold on. Is this like one of those swapped at birth thing where I got somebody else's fucking report? What the <laughs> hell? I'm 100% healthy. It's like the first time I thought it was a fluke, and the second time, like a couple weeks later, I'm like, holy shit, my liver is Damn. fine? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> it was like trying to pace all the podcasts we have today. All the alcohol makes it sanitary. It's very clean. Right? <laughs> my insides are spotless. <laughs> So uh, Nick has his new video coming. Uh, we were talking about it a little oh, with the no, Berlin. Me aggressively losing my shit while I was hammered. That. <laughs> his Berlin. Is that your female yeah, video? You ever do sh No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Your, that your was Mel last Gibson, week. Uh, voicemail video? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I don't know. Like, a, just sometimes he's like. what now, Nick? Sometimes <laughs> she Jesus like. Eli, Eli does the outro, and I'm like. <laughs> We go, to, we go to IHOP at two in the morning after we get done recording and I'm like halfway through my pancakes as I'm getting dramatically more sober and I'm like, fuck, they're going to they're going to make that a short and I'm going to look like a dickhead completely out of context. Oh, I thought you were just going to keep raging at IHOP, just spitting pancakes ever. I don't know anything about Karl no. Marx. <laughs> no. Speaking, he, he speaking of uh, IHOP, uh, does anyone remember SHOT Show last year? Beating was it, with, with was it last bat? year or was it two years two ago? Two years ago. With was uh, it Caleb Francis? It was two years what? ago. The beating babies with a bat I monologue he went on. I almost myself. <laughs> it was funny. You know that story, was Nick? fucking amazing. No. We were shit right. This is SHOT Show. If you've... Okay, so when you go to SHOT Show, the only thing you can expect is to get extremely drunk. A lot. A, a lot. We drink a lot at SHOT Show. We're in rare form there. Yeah. Like, you're waking up, you're hungover, and you're like, okay, it's time to go even harder to catch up from the other night. It is, what, three, four in the morning? How we... What time did we show up? There? That was that was to IHOP. Oh God, that was like three in the morning. Yeah. So the group, this is the entire groups together. We go down, we sit. Caleb shit wrecked, and he is going on his Caleb rants about 
he's just making IHOP commercials there. <laughs> the, the hostess hates us. Like our <laughs> server. We'll fucking. beat your baby with a bat. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Welcome to IHOP. We have three choices of syrups. Also, we'll cure your kid. <laughs> Like, we are crying, and it's just Caleb being Caleb. We're like, well, his brain is just going off on like these 30 minute tangents about just murdering children. He's like, Jesus fucking Christ, Caleb. Also, have you tried our three syrups? And we'll, we'll kill your fucking baby. We got a bat right up under the counter. We'll just bash its fucking head in right there on the table. <laughs> I saw, I don't know if it was a short I saw, but it was him and Heather playing a game together. Who's on your the daddy? internet, and it was like where Heather was the parent and Caleb oh, was yeah. the, baby, oh, the baby, and the baby had to try to get himself killed. Yeah. <laughs> he just goes to the oh, fucking buddy. <laughs> He's trying to put his fingers in the, the fucking oven and shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's just a very fun game, by the way. Who's your daddy if you've never played it? The babies, they yearn for the light sockets. <laughs> Fucking, I can mm. attest. So <laughs> I can attest. Which one of you guys is, uh, who is the people you're looking forward to the most coming to this range day that either you have not met or you're ex- just excited to be around? Bro, it's the fucking Undertaker. I, well, you were what, so, I, what do you mean? Last night you were like, "What the Undertaker's going like, to be?" I'm a, the und- I'm a dumbass electrician from Iowa, and then I get to tell you, "Oh, by the way, the Undertaker's coming." <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> like, yeah, he okay. gave him the IHOP spiel, and uh, yeah, that <laughs> that sold him. I don't know. I'm li- I am living in a simulation. <laughs> it's Dude, been it's, wild sometimes. It's really weird. Those are the weirdest ones to me. It's those wrestlers that we got, especially like me. You all probably grew up around that same time frame. No, it's no. of I, I never watched wrestling as a kid. I had no idea who no these people shit. were until we started meeting them. They're cool people. Like genuinely, like the wrestlers have been really rad so far. Oh. Dude. Dude, they're, uh, I think it is because the audience base that they're, they're used to a younger audience base. And they're, uh, I mean, a lot of them are really good fucking dudes. Like Goldberg is one of the nicest fucking humans I've ever met. Bill is one, as you're saying, oh. one of the sweetest humans you will ever meet. And you're like, I've made him monsters. Yet. He's you're great. Like, you'll meet him here, doesn't he? Yeah. 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 Motherfucker won't sell me a Hellcat, but we're not going to talk <laughs> about that. <laughs> to be fair, you wouldn't sell him yours. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Rich people things, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to talk Hannah into letting me get the new Dodge Hellcat in a minivan. <laughs> so she Mini van? A minivan for. with a Hellcat engine? Yeah. Why would you say no to that? Yeah, I don't know. We have a Chrysler Pacifica. <laughs> that is the most like, indigestion from Enterprise. she could have possibly made. <laughs> 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 yeah. She likes uh, the electric minivan we got from Enterprise, though, for our rental car. I hate it. That's good. It's super bad. There's no feedback at all on the gas pedal, and it's the worst thing on the planet. You're going to go electric (laughs) with a minivan, like Model X at least. I don't. I didn't pick. I just. I was just. I need a minivan. I have kids and like enough people. I have to get a van. They're like, we only have electric ones. I guess it's hybrid or whatever. But still, you push the gas pedal. There's no noise. There's no feedback. I'm like, no. This is weird. It's like a I big ass like golf it. cart. No, it's like you're fucking a chick that's not having fun at all. There's just no oh, input. Come on. Back whatsoever. Oh, yes. Many, I, many I, times. I immediately went through this that's many times. In, that's <laughs> indigestion. I get to watch this relationship crumble in real time. Go on about fucking girls with no reaction. Don't act like you don't know. <laughs> As she takes her. <laughs> <laughs> My wife for, is for the people when who you can't have see everyone's guys reaction my like this. My wife you just has, have everyone that's married over there like Jesus, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> my she, was, she was literally <laughs> taking her fucking ring off behind the camera. <laughs> my wife has two kids, and zero orgasms. She's writing an autobiography. <laughs> it's called All Only Consequences. That's the name of her book. It's coming out. Zero benefits. It's great. Dude, every, everyone in the room just went. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, I can't wait till we're single together. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you tried to kill me, and I wasn't single last time I was here. That's kind of fair. Danny, you have to rewrite the intro no. song again. Nick's going to be dead after I was, this. I was <laughs> so <laughs> drunk at the last time oh I came here God. with you. It was the G- worst thing uh, on the planet. Yeah, G-Van, please blur the name of that fucking bar, because I like going there. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> have a good day. Anyways, it's like, Danny's not going to have to do another song. It's still going to be Say Hi to Eli, Cuts Off. <laughs> I'm never when they die. Well, if you're off, then we could use the it's one like, from that one episode like a while back where you just like, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> we should use Brandon. that one for this intro. Oh, I know. Brandon. <laughs> no, Nick's wife is going to kill us all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah.
Oh man, and she's <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Say hi to Elon. <laughs> yeah, Dude, we're all crippled. I can feel her gaze passing me right now. I gotta go. <laughs> Add this to the list of reasons. <laughs> Add this to the list right, of reasons we... I hate the silent electric minivan. It makes the ride back to my Airbnb even quieter. <laughs> <laughs> Is also, anything wrong? No, Cody. The, you don't have the engine. It's just the hum. <laughs> There's a list of things we don't talk about. One is Fight Club. Two, what Volkswagen was doing from 1941 to 1945. And three, the windmill of friendship behind us we didn't notice. Wait, we're, we're the ones that's going to fuck up your congressional run? It was, all, it was always. It was always, it was always. It always was. Wait, always the, has been. The windmill of friendship? Yeah. <laughs> Oof. I like oh no! <laughs> I just asked, uh, man. I just asked y'all who you're excited to go to see at the campaign manager. Did you just rebrand this? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'm a marketer. What can I say? It's on a Buddhist temple in Asia. <laughs> Look in, it up. In less than five minutes, we ruined your mess, her marriage, and his fucking political career. Let's see what else we can fuck up in this one episode. Now we're definitely gonna be single together. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah! Single and unemployed. Cody just floats away. As far as people are excited for for range day. I, I, I am really excited to see Windagoon again. Isaiah he was is on my list. the nicest, most awesome person ever. He's the sweetest human you will ever meet. I, him and Hunter contrast uh, mm. their new podcast. I, what's it called? Uh, uh, Creep, Creep Cast. Yeah. Which side? I'll give that yeah. a shout out all day. I long. just finished that one yeah. today. So yeah. it's uh, Windagoon and so Meat good. Canyon. They have a podcast now. And they're both wonderful storytellers, wonderful humans. So check that out too. Hopefully, we can get him on the podcast, uh, Wendigoon. We can get him back like the next couple of days. Yeah, oh, that would be amazing. The next couple, you know, weeks for you guys. But, Leon you know, Lush coming <laughs> again. Sucks to suck. I th- yeah, I think I think Leon Lush is coming yeah, too. I'll Speaking take him as people. my favorite repeat. <laughs> yeah, Leon's awesome. Like I, fuck, I like him. Leon's well, doesn't Wendigoon has a podcast dude. with um? Is a multiple podcast. Red I didn't thread. realize. I thought he was he have, starting one with who, Charlie. Charlie, yeah, yeah he has one with, with Charlie right now, now too. So Moist Critical has a podcast. With I don't know if he now. was a guest on that or not. Was he? I, I thought, thought they started know. it together. That's because he's super into cryptids too. I mean, those are really good stories. It's I, I it's so far the two stories I've done. Ted the Caver I read in two thousand one. Oh yeah, and then the the stairs one I read in two thousand ten. The first creepy boss. Yeah, I was like, oh, I didn't know those were so. Big, and then they were talking about. I was like, "Man, I read when those actually just came out." Now, Ted the Caver was like the first the creepy, yes, yeah, OG creepy Boston, which was terrifying back in the day. Like, if you haven't read it, it's still a really good story. They the, make it hilarious though with how they uh, they describe him. <laughs> that was on Ted's uh, a the, fucking deadbeat. <laughs> yeah, that was on Pop what Papa Meat channel. Right? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. If you guys yeah. haven't seen, like, we're just shouting out all our friends on this one. If you haven't seen Papa Meat, like, check out his second channel. Yeah, him and Windagoon did Ted the Caver, and it is episode, so good. Episode two of Unsubscribe talks about how cool its guests are. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we were like. These are my favorite guests, but Isaiah, if you, um, Windagoon, he blew up, fant- like, super one of the nicest guys. And then you get to see all his, like, working with Papa Meat, opposite ends of the spectrum on, like, cursing content everything yeah because isaiah is like a, a sunday school teacher like he's just like the nicest most genuine human like, does not cuss. good christian boy well the past couple of days they've been running them through the dirt on twitter for what I which yeah well bullshit. seven months ago but when this comes out but <laughs> yeah also no. partially for being associated with us which fair i mean i get well, that uh, he, uh he, he, canyon's he, getting Drug kind of through the mud by the Taylor Swift, the Swifties right now. Oh yeah, super mad yeah. At him. hilarious. Who wants better sex and to start having better sex right now? That's the best way to get started. Are you Canadian? I am for this ad read. <laughs> That's right. The best way to get started is go to AdamandEve.com right now. Adam and Eve is offering fifty percent off from any item, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing, like these. <laughs> Also, it doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy. Everything will be packaged discreetly, and you'll get that order fast. Don't wait. Better sex is just a click away. Go to adamandeve.com and use code UNSUB to save 50% off and get rush processing. 
ranch it's gonna be that was a cartel versus gun to the Swifties the Swifties show up the ultimate showdown the Swifties show up in mass doing the, the elk bugle and like, here comes Taylor Swift with a steel chair <laughs> We're like Jesus fucking Christ holy well, shit they started talking shit about uh, about Isaiah on Twitter and automatically everyone was like the fuck did you say about Isaiah <laughs> like, like everyone, all the different creators were just like whoa 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 that on. fucking time out <laughs> wait what like, did he do what was like nothing the, he nothing. fucking did he didn't do a goddamn anything, thing dude. what were they pissed about well for one one of the screenshots I saw was specifically referencing him knowing us and my video one of my videos it Is was that, but it, it was, was just over like his his last his like first channel name was Boogaloo Boy back in the day like the fucking far right extremist like fuck you dude just Get, like get a fucking life. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. We like guns and having a stable family. <laughs> sorry. I, like I will always defend these and, boys. Like Ed, to, to to the end of my life, it is some of the like truly blessed on working with individuals like you guys because it is they're hardworking. They are one of the most loyal friends you will have. Which I will trade that over anything in the world. Like loyalty and being able to find that with friendship, way more fucking important. Also, they push each other. Which is why I love hanging out with like everyone. And then when we bring in other guests like this community we have right now, everyone leaves so fucking motivated and so positive because like, holy shit. Because at the end of the day, we try to help each other, which I don't think a lot of content creators do. They get pissed about that. It's like, wow, you're stealing my style. Instead, everyone's like, here, here is our styles. Like, use it to the best. Can I help you with thumbnails? Can I help you with this? Like, let's all fucking work together and actually succeed together. And then everyone fucking raises together, which is a crazy it's, thought. It's actually something Mike <laughs> Clough told me back in the day, Mr. Guns and Gear, that just fucking stuck with me forever. He told me this like eight years ago. He's like, yeah. He's like, I'll teach you everything I know how to do because I want my friends to take over the world because that's good for me. Rising tide raises shit. all ships. Now, now you're running for Congress. Wild. It's like, uh, I think we've talked about it before. What's, this is all Mike Plough's fault. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, early days, the early days of YouTube, it was like no one wanted to do collabs because they said, you're going to just steal my audience. And so no one did collabs in the early days of YouTube. It's like, yep. like prior uh, 2010. -ish. Sorry, I, know, I know nothing about Twitch, but isn't that kind of how Twitch is now? Like people don't like doing collaborations with anybody that's like substantially lower. Oh, a hundred percent. Subscriber thing, real? I don't, know. I don't fuck with okay. Twitch anymore, man. And none of us really do. It's a, just a toxic environment too. Even the people that are about Twitch right now kind of don't like Twitch. No, it, because I mean, it is. It's the exact same thing where it's like either not helping each other is this bear gatekeeping, versus. <gasps> Look, everyone just like you when you came on here, you were at not what 70,000, 30,000 on YouTube. I was at 100 something, I think. Yeah. And then you just fucking, phew, I yeah. swear you were lower than that at the time. I thought you were just doing because you were not I doing so too. Long. I don't know. I could be wrong. I have no yeah, idea. yeah. I thought you were way I lower because you weren't I doing a long form. Play button, I know that. I don't, did you at that time? I had a silver. Oh, yeah. I didn't start doing long form until I was past half a million. Nick's gonna consulting pass. social blade. I know that's what yeah. I'm like. Oh. I think Nick's I'm gonna curious. pass every single one of us though. No, I, I'll I fuck agree. this up first. No, you're not gonna. No. Oh, there's, Come on, like, you're, the audio's fucked up. I fucked ruin that earlier. Like I'm gonna ruin <laughs> well, if everything. If you just stop <laughs> dropping alcohol on Listen, things, you'd be fine. <laughs> but we say that, and that's awesome because I think I talked about that the other day or whenever. But it, or I at least told you, it's awesome to hear like. Our friends on our personal conversation when Nick's not around, they're like, Nick's passing all of us. Fat electrician is going to pass every one chance. of us that is known. And it's said in positivity because we are happy and excited for his success, which that should be the thing for friendship, motivation of each other. Not like that fuck's going to pass me. Oh, let's. How do we uh, sabotage his channel? Yeah. I think the only thing that's going to fuck Nick up is he's friends with, with us. Us. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. What? Yeah, seven hundred and fifty k subscribers, boy. You are. I know he's, Dude, he's growing fast. I don't even have fast. a play button yet. Oh, he's, he's neutral too. I he know. Just stays. History. He's just facts. History, facts. Unless you're a no. communist or you like the metric system, <laughs> then it's it gets real then not neutral <laughs> real quick. Game on. It's aggressive. <laughs> Show that shirt. Oh, oh yeah. Check out my new merch. <laughs> Fuck communism. <laughs> But it is, a, it is the world's best diet program, though, which is going to help with our CPMs because Lose that's fitness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Fitness. Go back, really, please, just do the fucking ad read. Yeah, yeah guys, <laughs> stop going on to this joke, which <laughs> we fucking despise. Our North Korean audience skyrockets to like yeah, fitness. You'll lose a lot of weight not eating. It's great, <gasps> dude. We have Chris Ramsey coming, right? Sorry, Hill. Chris, I don't know. Uh, magician, magician. Oh, yeah. 
I'm so excited. Chris is one. So you had 270K a year ago. So that, that checks out. Then you'd yeah. probably be like right I, I for sure had a silver play button. Okay. When okay, yeah. And then you just started doing long form and just fucking catapulted. Yeah, to then it, it got move. aggressive, yeah. Which is, and that's how it's like, it's everyone that comes in. It's usually, now we have this, the, the military guys that are rotating in or new individuals like, I want to get in this space. We're just like, here's all the information we know. Use it to the best of your right. ability. Uh, hopefully you succeed. Chances are, if you just follow what the dudes are saying, you will fucking succeed. Everyone has a pretty decent head on their shoulders. Turns out we're kind of good at this. I know, it's weird. Kind of crazy. Strange. Now, who are you looking forward to at Range Day, Brandon? Uh, I, I'm looking forward, of course, our buddy Wendigoon Isaiah. He's one of my favorite people. I like B-tier. him a lot. Can't use it. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> dude, in one of his videos, it, one of his most recent videos he dropped, like uh, it was the, like the cryptid thing or whatever, because I, I watch his stuff because I, I, I genuinely enjoy it. He's one of my like favorite YouTubers right now. Um, he said something along the lines of like his tier list for cryptids. He's like, all right, look, a lot of you guys had a problem with the last video. If I, if I put something at B tier, like C tier is like average. So B tier means I like it. And I'm just like tears streaming down my face. Like <laughs> my boy likes me. <laughs> no, but he, uh, that's, that's like a fucking deep cut for unsub viewers. You're like, uh, B tier Brandon from way back in the day when he first started his channel. Like, fuck that's you. still up, Mother, isn't it? Like on his actual channel. Oh, yeah. It's like still, his yeah first, you can find the first it. or second video. His gun tuber tier list. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. He uh, just started. It's hilarious when he talks about that transition of content. He was like, I did this one, this one, this one. I wanted to do a gun channel. I did one iceberg video. It took out. He's like, I'm an iceberg channel. Got it. Okay. I'm just going to do But he's icebergs. such a good storyteller. Like he he didn't realize I think in the beginning how good of a fucking storyteller he was, and he's he's perfected it's that. Done his research, man. Like that boy research is like it's crazy. a research. It's, it's how he talks, his cadence. It's all those little things, and he goes as you're saying, like even with a book breakdown, Blood Meridian, yeah. it can be a five hour long video, but he just pro- like how he breaks it down for the viewer. It's insane. And, and it's the Sunday school teacher thing where it's like this guy's been a communicator. For a long time. So he knows how to relay information in a way that keeps people's attention, which is, God, that's rule number one. But yeah. Outside yeah. of that. Oh, no, I was going to say, if you have guys like us who are friends with him and he's the nicest person ever, if you attack him on the internet, I'll fucking kill you. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna fuck you up. He's a good dude. Like, just a good dude. One of the best humans you will meet. This is a threat. You. I'll take a strike for this motherfucker. <laughs> no, you. Uh, he'll take one on the Brandon Herrera channel. At <laughs> Brandon <laughs> Herrera. Fight me. You can put that fucking strike there. Not <laughs> yeah. on that side. I'm like, Brian, stop. Like, no, 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 no. no, I don't want him on here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> but who else other than um, Wendigoon? You're like, so okay, I also, like, also have a, another uh, guy who I've known on, I guess, on the internet for a while. Um, Taylor from PKA, the Painkiller Already podcast with FPS Russia and Woody's Gamertag. Uh, oh, yeah. he's, he's another one of those like full-time hosts that's been there for, God knows, I don't know, fucking 10 years. But he's coming out. No shit. So, yeah, he's coming to range day, so that'd be that'd be kind of fun. God. Another guy who's on the fucking lock and load grind set. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Are you still doing that? Uh, what, what, you think I stopped? His I did, cum oh, games I did are for insane, a while. bro. <laughs> I did for a while, but then I got single again. Accuracy by volume. <laughs> all right, someone who's in town, too, who we haven't mentioned yet, who's a great friend of all of ours, Kentucky Ballistics. <gasps> yeah, dude, he's coming Wait, in tonight. He's, in town? Town? he's Scott, coming in tonight. Later. Scott is going to be here. Did he bring Looking the four to that? Wait, Do what? Did he bring the four bore? I fucking hope so. So funny story. I don't know if I can say this yet. Uh, I ordered. Oh, <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna phrase this carefully, depending on how when this yeah, podcast comes out. Call coming. I have Who a it? video coming up. Mountville. Oh, hello. I have a <laughs> I have a video coming up. <laughs> do, you, do you want to answer with it? Scott? Dad? Hello? Hello? Hey, who? Co- this is uh, this is Eli? Yes. Th- I'm I'm with business. Wait, what? Are you the owner of this business? Yes, I'm the owner of this business. What business do I own? Com LLC. What bit? What business am I owning? 
Oh, I, I, I closed that business three years ago. I love you. <laughs> he's gonna be like tear <laughs> he calls back he's like what's your name <laughs> I already have your phone number <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ <laughs> Eli just shaving push ups off the workout <laughs> <laughs> Shaving push ups <laughs> off the, the workout. <laughs> <laughs> only 20 now. <laughs> so are talking? Saving lives. <laughs> Who's a veteran you only do 21 push ups for? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Apparently, JFK. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, veteran with a sign. How many push ups is it to save a veteran's life? How does 20. that, what does that currency convert to? I don't know. It, it just depends on war, mainly. <laughs> it's conflict. To, it's a conflict to conflict thing. It changes person to person. <laughs> 21 pushes for JFK. I might write that down. <laughs> Dude, the, the wildest thing about that is like, do your push ups. They won't kill those. What if you just fucking called them? No. <laughs> what if you just said, hey, dude, how you doing? No, no, no. Do some push ups. Yeah, I'm but then you don't that. get to take a fucking Instagram selfie. That's true, too. Yeah. Your your nice little Cody's post twenty two push up single handedly plummeting the stock of weighted plate carriers for workouts <laughs> by himself. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Cody! You're destroying the fitness market. <laughs> no, no, no! But but the lobbyists from AT and T are finally <laughs> fucking team up on the corner. Like, yeah, call them. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ! Fucking Jamie's shaking his head <laughs> over here. That sounds so insidious. <laughs> I'm just He's sorry. Like, yeah, I'm, bitch, I'm so, call him. <laughs> There's so I, many things going to my head right now. I love the comments from all the nice things you've been saying on the podcast. Be lie. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm just picturing you asking somebody like, you're like, you can either call your friend or do 22 push-ups. Which one you think is going to make a difference? Oh, one, two, 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 three, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Me, me 22. <sighs> Uh oh. <laughs> 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 uh, I like you're just complimenting in my head is like the darkest shit possible. I'm like, hey, hey, that's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Call your boys, boys. <laughs> yeah, it's a way it makes a huge difference compared to push ups. One text even. You don't even have to call them. I hate calling people. Fucking like despise the, it. The spirit of you you see the spirit of Halloween costume that was uh spreading around. It was like the 30 minute phone call, the scariest <laughs> thing ever. The, no the, the 30 minute phone call that could have been a text. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just text your boys. Just hey, it, how you doing? Yeah. What's up, buddy? You doing good? We love you. No, we were in combat together. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Hope you're still alive. K bye. Yeah, K bye. <laughs> no, text your boys. Brandon, what, uh, speaking of your boys, what guns are you bringing to the ranch? Oh, God. Yes. Transition. Yes. <laughs> that was a nice yes. transition. God, I, the first thing I wanted to say is the Kurt Cobain. <laughs> <laughs> that one's coming so up. We might actually bring that. I don't know. Are, are you? Maybe. Sure. Do are you, you need it? Video? Do you need to borrow it? Yes, please. Thank God. I'm waiting. That's yeah. like a way cooler gun than I thought. It's kind of cool. It, like, it's, it's really cool, neat. actually. Like, with, with the, the long recoil. I'll be yeah. honest. Like, just watching your videos, seeing the guys, like, nobody's ever been taken out that's a famous person by, like, a lame gun. Nobody's ever, like, a lame... It's always cool. There's an attempted one that I'm going to cover soon that was pretty oh, really? lame. Uh, Ronald Reagan. Oh, really? Yeah, the it's one lame. that... Oh, well, that's oh this is a work, cool topic. Because it's fucking lame. This is a cool fucking topic. So, uh, the guy... God, what is his Go fucking the history name? of the... Like, John Hinckley, I think. Yeah, John Hinckley in, like, uh, like the 80s tried to shoot President Ronald Reagan... Uh, he used this a 22. Street, right? This was on that street. This is like one of the famous videos, right? Or it was no? like they were leaving a hotel in D.C. Uh, he goes up because he wanted to get the attention of Jody Foster, I believe. So he obviously <laughs> needed to shoot the president with a 22. So whatever. Thank you. Wait, oh, yeah, wait. Could, hold could on. it have been what? someone hotter? <laughs> like, no, that's you don't know that. Like that. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah. So so uh, John Hinckley for a fucking clear, six. <laughs> right? You shot the president for a six? <laughs> Bro, what? Dead, what? Dead serious. What year was this? Um, I don't know when specifically yeah, he was God. shot. There were 80, 84. 
there were way hotter chicks to get the attention of then. I don't know. It was 1981. Okay. Jodie Foster got that five head. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. God damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest. You're, you're not going to get a female's attention by killing a president, by the way. I mean, it'll be in their news. Hey, feed, you but... do what you like. <laughs> oh, no, Brandon. I don't, I don't motivate this. <laughs> well, I thought you said you wanted this to be a motivational <laughs> podcast. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's not what we meant. That's not what we meant. She was 19. All right, we're, we're good. We're good. So anyway, John John Hinckley, I believe, uh, goes to... I, he, I YouTube motivational gym. Like his speech is, that's a different word that goes instead of gym right there. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't let your dreams be memes. Uh, so he, he decides he the only way to get the attention of Jodie Foster is to shoot President Reagan. So he uses a shitty fucking... It looks like a cap gun. It's like a 22 revolver. Uh, he shoots Reagan. He ends up uh, killing a uh, either a, either a police officer, or a Secret Service member, and then um, Brady actually, which spawned the Brady Bill. Funny enough, <clears throat> he shoots President Reagan in the chest, and he it's the the famous quote where he goes into first for surgery. Like the Secret Service pounces on this fucking guy. Remember, yeah. He goes in for surgery, and like before he goes under, he says uh, to the surgeons, "Well, I hope you're all Republicans." No shit. Yeah. No, Jeez. Reagan was a fucking quip master. But uh, John Hinckley now is out of prison recently, like in the last couple of years. And I'm trying to determine if it's bad taste to get him to cameo in a video. Jesus Let's get him on the podcast. Christ. Because he now has a... <laughs> I think that's oh. a good reaction. I, I base things off of Nick. Well, he now has a <laughs> YouTube it. channel. What? Oh, I'm dead serious. John this Hinkley is why does? I wanted to talk What's about this. What's the name? Yes. Near Miss? 38 Almost. Special? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on loosely. <clears throat> you think the, the feds still follow him around, right? Oh, 100%. Well, I mean, only when he takes a trip to D.C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's, he's been Googling Taylor Swift too much and takes a trip to D.C. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, sorry. This guy, uh, oh, no. he's got a YouTube channel now. He does actually bluegrass music, and I want to ask him if he, uh, he would... Be interested. I'd like to interview him just to see, like, if Hear he's me out. reformed or like, what's the deal? No, I would love, because it's mm. so many good topic points of yeah. It's of one of those process. things. He's like, hey, dude, I was in a really fucking bad place. I regret what I did. I was obviously crazy. Or if he's like, how old was he? Did Jody that? talk about me? Like exactly. Could, we, could, we <laughs> that? could you get those two together on an episode? Oh my god, let's bring him on the podcast. <laughs> That's a real good tense episode. <laughs> Just make him sit side by side. We put a, a sheet of like three inch thick plastic in front of him. Have we oh, talked about no. sexually transmitted feds on here yet? No, I don't think so. No, please. That continue. was a great segue. Yeah. No, well, no, 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 no. I'm <laughs> saying like, yeah, it feels you organic. My, you have my undivided <laughs> attention. You well, said sexual and I was like, what? Well, no, it's like if you're sleeping with someone who's being investigated by the by the federal government then you have sexually transmitted feds oh that's but actually, it's like i know we're not gonna fuck john hinckley but <laughs> if we're around you him, do what you like then we have this is like, like cody <laughs> you're a free man <laughs> we, we just have feds now <laughs> we bring them all here oh yeah we're gonna not that we watched. don't already so yeah. what, I, that's actually so what age did he do that entire thing at it was like Great 20s question. early 20s i don't know G Van, pull that I love up. how this guy's like famous for trying to assassinate a Republican politician. Oh, and fuck, we're Brand, Brandon's it. over here like, I should get him on my channel. Nothing well, could go so wrong. He was, oh, well, <laughs> no, no, so I, I joke about that all the time, dude. I'm like, hey, man, if with all the assassination videos and shit I do, because I think it's interesting. It's a neat part of history, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. But if Super something neat. happens to me, nobody can fucking say I wasn't asking for it. I, I get it. Oh, like, the irony won't be lost on me. Uh, he was, uh, he was born in 1955. He's 68 years old. 68, so 1955. 19. He was in his late 20s, mid-20s. Just like the target audience of Hunza. Uh, <laughs> Taylor Swift doesn't want to fucking talk Reagan to you, Reagan okay? was not 20 <laughs> at the time. Reagan was not, no. He was, was the target audience, though. Oh. <laughs> I gotta pee. <laughs> I gotta pee, too. We're taking, Jesus we're fucking taking, Christ. Nick's so proud of that joke. Nick was like, I fucking did it. No, yeah. wait, okay, so that dude was mid-20s. He was like, I'm Go going to do this. I got I to pee real oh, quick. Go, yeah. pee, pee. Dude was mid-20s. Mid-20s, he's like, I'm going to yeah. shoot the president. And then any of his videos now, how is his following? Not big, 
but he he does he does like bluegrass music now. Like he's selling he's trying to sell vinyls. I think I looked into it. He's it's it's not bad. I mean, it's pretty well, it's okay music if you like bluegrass. For me, it is that uh, it's super interesting to figure out. I mean, that's just an interesting guest to have on because you're like trying to pick his brain on justifying that behavior and then uh, like right. deep diving. It's like, but why? But yeah. how and did I, you think that was going to be the solution for this? I think that's going to be that's going to be the big one is determining like if if he's reformed now where he's like, yeah, dude, I was I was going through a real fucking dark time. I had a mental break. I did something I shouldn't have done. I get that now versus like. Yeah, well, you know what? You never know. I might try it again. Like that's that's a little bit of a fucking different different that, story. That's when the podcast ends real quick. You're like, it's wow. like, oh, okay, yeah, this is uh, uh, uh. Well, the next hour is going to be on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz there's like um I forget the Asian dudes um fuck, the Canadian, Eli, I think. Yeah, you right. <laughs> the the dude that cut off the guy's head on the bus in Canada. It was like what 2010. The fuck? You didn't no, I don't know about that one. No. Wait, for real? I thought real? you were talking about the guy who, like, bonsai bombed the fucking uh, communist with a with a sword. I know, like, Uncle Dijon, that's it for Can- <laughs> Canadian history. <laughs> that is your only that's Canadian? Yeah. You're like, that's it. Yeah. So in Canada, this is, like, 2010-ish or around that time frame. Um, individuals are on a bus. A 57-year-old Asian man uh, decapitated the the person sitting next to him cut his head off and then like uh was eating his eye and ears and stuff and then they arrested him Mm -hmm. he was like going back and forth with his huge hunting knife they arrested him and then um he's out now he they just put him in a mental ward because his first oh good his first trial case he was straightforward he's like please kill me like he just straight up he's like i i i know what i did was very wrong he had a literal mental break. So it was one of those debates. It's like, okay, is he punished for this for like life in prison? Or yes. how do you punish this individual that had 57 years of never being in trouble? No problems whatsoever. And then a psychotic break. It's a hard one. I don't, I don't know. Like I don't, when I take my car to the mechanic because it's broken, just because it's the first time it broke down, doesn't mean I'm not going to take it to the fucking mechanic. <laughs> Or well, take it to the what mechanic. Kind of fucking but logic it, but you, is that? But do you total it? Is huh? the question. I mean, yeah, that's. A, I mean, that's a good. I fix the problem, and if I can't fix it, I get a different fucking car. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the question. Is you, if you could fix the problem, I get the. I, I get don't the think dilemma. you can. That, that's, to be fair, that's a pretty big fucking problem. Because he's straight in court. Like they were like, uh, well, "How do you play?" He was like, "Just please kill me." So uh, that reminds me of the uh, Canada like on the today other would end. just do that, right? I know. <laughs> like, okay. yeah, they, they, they just wheel in the fucking uh, to go cart. Like, like right fuck. now, which one? Uh, that, that was who the, the fuck are you guys talking about right now? Asian uh, dude, Canadian yeah. that cut off the head. Euthanasia. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the, the Papa Meat did a video on the the guy who Japanese. Uh, the, the Japanese guy, yeah, who killed and ate that chick, in, and then yeah, like, France by a technicality. Was able to get away with it. Oh yeah, he's back in Japan. He's a celebrity now. He's dead he's now. He, oh well, he was a Thank celebrity God. for a while. Yeah, they would put yeah, him he on wrote, shows. He wrote like fucking graphic novels and shit or whatever about the fucking murder. Like it was the most gross shit I've ever seen. He did. Uh, was it? And this happened in France. He was going to college in Paris, France. Um, killed that girl. Ate. He was a cannibal. He had like fucked up in the head, and through the extradition, he got sent back to Japan after like a month in France. Got kicked back, and then the because um, it was a technicality in how they processed him, whether it was like a murder suspect ver- versus a uh, uh, mental patient. Yes, and because of that, it was hey, when he got back to Japan, they were like, oh, just let him out, essentially. Yeah, and they l- just I let see this happening too. I know. I was like, what the fuck? My wife going and on? my editor moving a couch. I know. This was the most. Cl- <laughs> this is like, oh, now we got seats front row. But uh, this episode yeah. of Unsubscribe in front of a live <laughs> my, studio audience. My entire support network just moving furniture in the Mixed background. Mixed divorce <laughs> brought to you by <laughs> all the front row seats. <laughs> but yeah, I got back to Japan, got let out instantly with no jail time. Like Wild. he just killed, ate somebody, and they're like, okay, you're and back to society. Fucking capitalized off of. Oh, like, Japan it was, was like it was like a it was like a Dutch girl or something that was yeah. there in France. Yeah, that's that was a wild. And story. he made money off of it. Japan ate up that culture. Like he would go on talk shows and talk about it. 
You know this stuff? Like, no. Bro, it is. All over a language already. barrier about this eating is, ass. This is... So- <laughs> Jesus uh, fucking Christ. And, and how are we don't, destroying don't your that fucking really you know, That was beautiful. <laughs> was it, in this, it was in the 90s or early 2000s. I forget the exact date. Yeah. This is a great example of why just because it's legal or illegal it doesn't mean it's moral or Im- immoral. Yeah. You ex- the, the extradite is where it's weird because when you have like, oh, we'll put you here, but now you're free or we'll go here and you can't get It was just like, what was that, the scorpion killer or whatever the fuck? Where like apparently he... Uh, He's going to get out in a couple of years because he like played the system on extradition with different countries he committed crimes in where he's going to be like, by the time he gets out in a certain country, he'll be extradited to another one. And by the time that's done, it'll be past the statute of limitations to prosecute in the country. He killed like 30 fucking people in or whatever. Well, that's terrifying. Yeah. What? So he'll be out. So we should just be allowed to kill people sometimes, right? I mean, maybe it's not allowed, but I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but we should. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to Murder. unsubscribe. I know, like, eh. <laughs> Say hi to Eli. Just Eli. Just, Just Eli. Eli. Like, oh, we're, we're all in federal uh, prison. He's the only one who stayed this long. <laughs> Say bye to Brandon, everyone. <laughs> What's your next big video, Mr. Mr. Nick? Mine is the Berlin. I already fuck. know you have your fucking... I don't in- think that far ahead. It was, it was literally... The, I, I got this fuck communism shirt. And uh, I did the Berlin airlift, which leads directly into the Berlin wall. And it's just me shitting on communism for the next month, all of December for Christmas, which we have because of (laughs) capitalism. You know, just saying. (laughs) Well, do you have anything motivating? You're like, okay, hey, I really this I'm drawn to this topic of a next like war or history piece. So let me think. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, I went and I had breakfast with like this random guy that emailed me recently because he was passing through Mason City, which immediately sketchy. And every time that I bring, I bring every time I bring a gun sketchy. and every time it's like a 70 year old man that just wants to say hi to me. It's the uh-huh. most adorable thing on the planet. I was like, I'm like looking for like I was like, I walk in immediately, open the door, <laughs> step left with the wall to my fucking back scan every time. It's a 70 to 85 year old man. Nick's Mr. Cor- Fat Electrician, sir, and he's like, oh, this is adorable. So I meet this dude. And, uh, and Nick's audience base is like you have 80% and 75 and over. It's just old people it's watching. A lot of and then, older people, actually. I, it's I a just, lot. I imagine like him just telling his grandkids, I met the man on the talking box on the wall. And they're like, that's, that's really cool. That's really cool, Grandpa. I bet you did. 100%. It happens. So like... <laughs> Uh, basically, this guy, like, he comes, Aww. he had, like, he had yeah. books, he had fucking newspaper clippings, and he's, like, he told Aww. me this whole story, his dad. I think it's time we talk to him about that community we looked at. <laughs> <laughs> right? He's oh, already no. talking to, the TV's talking back. Oh, uh, this is the sweetest story. No, but I did. I really <laughs> met him. I feel spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> But no, this dude, uh, he brought like a book that he wrote and then a bunch of newspaper articles and sources. Uh, he, he just wanted me to do a video on the unit that his dad fought in in World War II. No, and I was shit. like, fuck, okay, tell me about it. Like, you know, like, I can only do so much. And this dude had all the research done. And it was uh, the 77th Infantry Division in World War II. And it was like basically an experiment. It was the first unit in World War II that was comprised of all draftees. And the average age of them was 33. So, like, it was literally an entire division of middle-aged men with families and kids that they sent into World War II as, as like, an experiment gr- to see, like, the okay, can a, can a 30-year-old still hack it? They were, I don't quote I me on this. they had the best coffee. Bro, so listen to this. Very they were supposed to be, at life too. I think D-Day, there was 11 divisions that stormed the beach at Normandy, I think. There was supposed to be 12. This was the 12th. They they get they like like nah we're not sending you there so they sent they were the first army division to go over with the fucking marine corps in the Pacific, and they were just fucking shit up and the marines started calling them the seventy seventh marine division because they were so fucking good and they started calling them their nickname is the old bastards because it was a bunch of thirty three year old men just fucking not about being here at all yeah because like, you got a bunch of eighteen I, nineteen year olds yeah they're, they're like literally grown ass men with kids going in and fighting this war and that one like the the name came from a 19 year old marine that famously said like look at those old bastards go as they were storming a beach on a japanese island during an amphibious landing and um so they fought all throughout the pacific and then 
there was one island that was holding out after the Japanese had surrendered with like 5,000 Japanese troops on it because that was a huge issue at the time because all the Japanese guys were like, that's propaganda, it's not true, Jap- Japan would never surrender. And um, they, they're like, eventually, they're like, okay, fine, we're going to surrender, but we're only going to surrender. They had gotten island hopped, and they're like, we're going to surrender, but we're only going to surrender to the 77th Infantry Division because those guys were kicking our asses so hard that if we are going to lose, we only want to lose to them. So they had to actually send representatives from the 77th Army Division over to accept the surrender from these Japanese officers. It makes sense. There are a bunch of older guys who fucking hate anime and want to go home and fuck their wives. <laughs> yeah. Those men definitely use racial <laughs> slurs. <laughs> <laughs> they, dude, they were, they were the dudes. Like, I mean, it was the greatest generation. They kind of fucking all did. Dude, like seriously? <laughs> you, ever met, you ever met some of those guys? Yeah. They never stopped. <laughs> Grandpa's too old for change. <laughs> if you, oh no, no, like like those were the dudes that were doing like if you Google Japanese trophy skulls in the Pacific, yeah. that was probably those guys. You ever look that what up? My grandpa no. had in the attic. Fuck. Yeah, like what, what president had to come out and say you that had, you, your grandfather had one? No, I'm just like oh, those other people. Yeah, one like oh, whatever president and came out and said, guys, you got to stop taking trophy skulls from the Pacific no, Islands. Was it Roosevelt Truman? Like, it, was, it was one of them. Do you ever look up, look that up? Because so many dudes were, yeah, so many oh, dudes. They, yeah. they would boil the fucking skulls and then paint them with like their unit icons and shit. Like there, there is still some Japanese skulls out there with like Marine Raider insignia. They painted on them to send back home to their girlfriends. And it got to a point where the president at the time had to say, guys, you got, you can't do this anymore. This is fucked. You're giving the mailman PTSD. Knock it off. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, there, there's, there's, like, picture, oh, okay. there's this famous picture of like the girlfriend getting one in the mail. They used to, oh like, my God, that was what they'd send their spouse. Yeah. She doesn't look yeah. like she oh, dislikes yeah. it. It's kind of hot. Dude, Jap- <laughs> Japanese, yeah, that's like, Japanese trophy skulls were a thing. Your guy fucks at war so hard, he's sending you look back Look what he did to make enemy. it back to me. I'm just saying, man. I love the skull you see me. It's so white and bleach. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what, what, like, what do you write back to your spouse that send you a fucking skull? Also, random. I want you to put a third baby in me. <laughs> random fact about this. I had a whole comment thread on one of my recent videos roasting me about how fucking stupid I am because I said that World War II ended when Japan surrendered. And apparently a significant portion of European countries don't recognize the Pacific theater like at all. Like, it's just not taught in their education system. And, like, World War II ended to them when Germany was defeated. And I was a stupid American capitalist pig for implying that Japan had anything to do with World War II. And I was like, that's really interesting. Yeah, no, I'm not shit, even mad. Half, I'm just interested. You're half the fucking world away from a big fucking problem. Uh, they, you know we had to nuke those bastards twice, right? They did probably the worst war crimes. That's a lot of people. No, not probably. They, they did. did the worst war crime. Sorry. Staying correct. The, the, the raping of Nang King has entered the chat. Yeah. yeah. Unit, what was it? Unit uh, 731. 731. Like those, you just need those two stories and be like, oh, yeah, they were they were the bad guys. And when they're like, yeah, we didn't do that, they tried to cover up that piece of history from their own people. You're like, oh, cool, you the guys George, fucked up. The George Bush Sr. thing, that, mm-hmm. all kinds of shit. That and the, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, that one was fucking <laughs> Those big oofs. <laughs> Wait, which one? We'll, we'll all read George it. George Bush Sr. Go on with that story. I've told it on the podcast once. They got really mad at me because I said he wasn't shot down. Apparently, he was shot down. He escaped. My bad. I was super hammered. I fucked up one little detail of the story. Like the Gerald um, Ford? The first. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the comment section. The I was like, Ford versus yeah, Gerald yeah, Ford. Yeah, yeah, fucking you guys super caught him drunk. Stress. What's weird is you said Gerald Ford, but I immediately knew that you meant Eric. Well, uh, and Henry I had Ford. just made a video talking about Gerald Ford. So I had said Gerald Ford 500 times in the last two weeks so it just came out that way it was henry ford my bad anyways uh george bush senior was a combat pilot in world war ii and one of his first missions was like at the ass end of the pacific and him and his entire squadron got shot down on this japanese island he was the only one that escaped everybody else that got captured got eaten alive by a cannibal group of japanese soldiers wait what yeah i didn't know Yeah, there's like you can go on you can go on YouTube. Yeah, every everybody else in his squadron got eaten alive. And then like 40 years, not 40 years, whatever. However, later he was president and he like. There's a video of him like passing out and vomiting because somebody's eating something and he like has a, an episode where he remembers because he didn't find out about this until he was like already president. 
and he finds so out, like, So if the oh, Japanese the were just a little hungrier, 9-11 would have been prevented. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> I, our live audience didn't like that. <laughs> Holy fuck! You just heard one person. Like, uh, <laughs> look, let's just say we we Not all could have crowd. <laughs> we all could have prevented nine oh, eleven. Brandon's when like fucking King Trout just... has that facial expression <laughs> of all people on the planet. Like, <laughs> better with a sign, King Trout. Just, just yeah. <laughs> You're just like I'm gonna scratch that one off. That was uh, that one. Yeah. Oh no, that's, that's a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> Not good for crowd work. Note to self: butterfly effects don't always go that great. <laughs> <laughs> that that actually took me a minute. That was, that was fucking oh, good. No. That was solid though. <laughs> she, shoo. So I didn't yeah, know. Grand <laughs> Shenny, I could have been a congressman, but there was this uh, podcast. <laughs> Multiple times, everyone tried to fuck my career up. No, I never knew that story, though, of any of that. He learned that his unit got cannibalized well in office. I'm pretty sure it was like it was significantly later in his life. I think it was while he was in office, but I'm not sure. Cody, I, I wish I knew what could be like, hey, Cody, what's your next video? Yours is literally just based off of who is getting shot next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like <laughs> what person is getting shot tomorrow? Oh, fuck. I no, can't. actually, that fuck. Hopefully explosion. not tomorrow. What? <laughs> the house getting raided and they just blew up the oh, house. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a weird one. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. they so, figure so, out what caused that? No, a lot of people were saying it was a gas leak, but... There was there was a no, lot of did not uh, like a gas leak. Yeah, the way it, the way it blew up and all the sparklies in the air, there was definitely an accelerant there. I, I don't fucking know, man. But the guy the guy too, like I don't know, it's being spread around the internet. He was like a schizo poster and was saying a bunch of stuff. So I don't know if you guys have seen Based. that. Yeah. Earlier, I couldn't figure out how to edge this in, but when you were talking about you guys doing the uh, the gun buyback thing and the cops coming up and people being like, "Oh, you guys were harassing police," I was like, "Man." If Cody got shot by a cop, that's like the infinite money. Glitch. Oh, that would be hilarious! <laughs> the infinite money glitch. Oh, like, talk about that okay. one. That one cop that pulled you over and uh, and and gave you a ticket. He's like incessantly bullied. Like, bro, dude, you I gave was, a ticket to the one guy who fucking bro. defends us. Like the cop who shoots you. My God, <laughs> he's was, gonna get bullied to death. I'll take that L. I like, was sitting oh, shotgun idiot. when that happened. It was. Like top five funniest things that that's ever happened. In my yeah, you were in the life. car with me when he pulled us right over. There, it was so. You see, it was funny. what like Azerbaijani or whatever the. Fuck. I have no idea. It was just like the dude had no idea who Cody was, and I'm just like, there's no, like, what are the odds that I get to sit shotgun and watch donut operator get a fucking speeding ticket? Well, I wasn't about to be like, you know who I am. No, for sure, Cody's completely cool. He's just like, yeah, yes, sir, absolutely, for sure. Like Cody is cool, 100 percent of the time. This guy had no idea. I'm just sitting there like trying not to fucking laugh the but entire yeah, time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm grocery shopping like <laughs> a couple weeks later, and this guy comes up and he's like, "Hey, I'm SAPD. I just want you to know we bully this guy relentlessly." <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck. Okay. Do you not know about that part? <laughs> oh, oh god, the guy, the guy, yeah. you got a ticket. Yeah, the the, yeah, because Nick was in the, the Nick was in the car with me, and I'm just like, yes, sir. I was speeding. Yes, sir. I got the ticket. A couple a couple weeks later, like I'm in the grocery store. A guy comes up and he's like, hey, I'm with SAPD. We bully the fuck out of this dude. <laughs> it's like ah, I don't. Did. I didn't want that to happen. But fuck, man. <laughs> I no didn't than, want that to happen. What was uh, Rich when Rich pulled over the one kid, gave him a ticket, and he didn't know at the time, so he like tickets this kid for speeding or whatever. He's like, hey. But yeah, fucking runs this thing, does everything, writes the ticket, puts it down. When he walks back up or runs the ticket or puts it in, however that fucking works, I'm not a police officer, gets it going through the system, and he's about to walk it back up, and they're like, his buddies were like, hey, you know who that is, right? I'm like, no, it's some kid that was speeding. He's like, yeah, his dad just died in the line of duty like a year ago. Rich is like, fuck, fuck. So she walks up, he has the ticket, he's like, why didn't you tell me, man? <laughs> like, like, like he's being a nice person. I know. Yeah. He's like, he's like, oh, I, know. I just didn't want to say anything. He's like, yeah, but like, I feel like an asshole now. It's a really good story. Rich, Rich is like angry I'm, cops. We're talking angry about angry cops. cops yeah, by angry, angry cops. cops. Sorry, like I'm like I knew who angry cops was forever before I ever even uploaded a video on YouTube. Yeah, Mike the cop. <laughs> yep, that's the one. <laughs> Why well, you just commented on his the other day? <laughs> He's one of the dudes I met in person. I was like, 
fuck yes, he's everything I hoped he was. <laughs> like, Rich is the lot, same person on camera. There's a lot of people like that, but it's just like, oh shit, you are exactly who I thought you were. This is incredible. It's awesome. Oh, dude, if I if I could throw angry cops in any social situation <laughs> ever, like I'm 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 picking him every time because he's just he's fucking chaos. But it's hilarious he's, chaos. Have you seen like the 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 chart of how you define movie characters like chaotic good, yeah. chaotic? He's he's chaotic good. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. Is he? I don't yeah, know. He's like right there on better. the line between chaotic good and chaotic neutral. <laughs> <laughs> right on that line. I think that's the definition. I'm going to go with chaotic good. <laughs> he's always doing good. Like he's one of the sweetest humans. Yeah, you that's ever true. There's nothing better with him yelling at a judge trying to get out of a speeding ticket. Oh, God. All right, guy. Guy. <laughs> <Listen to your laughs> guy. Dad's talking. <laughs> His videos are one of the few, like anytime it pops up, I'm just going to sit and listen to him rant. Especially when, oh, and you got some, <laughs> when you start ran, oh, one of my favorite things. He's not coming to range day, is he? Nah, Rich couldn't make it. He just, cool. he just got promoted with that fat fucking cake of his, dude. Did you see that picture? <laughs> oh, 100%. They, they put it up oh, last, yeah. last episode. I watched <laughs> oh, it. Yeah. With Rich yeah. on there because yeah. he was just standing there and his, everyone's seen that like, cake. like, damn, boy does his squats. <laughs> she well, G-Man was able to pull that one up. <laughs> <laughs> he, found that one e- he found that one easy. Yeah, he already had that in the spank bank. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe you. <laughs> he was a rich as hands down one of my favorite individual and it sucks he's not gonna be arranged at any time he's around i'm like oh. so good and he just got he's getting married here shortly really yeah he, oh i didn't know got engaged like well you guys didn't know he is got engaged is no are we wedding supposed crasher to crasher video yeah. ever oh yeah we're crashing i'm gonna crash. text him to verify but yeah he got engaged uh, when he went to um, okay yeah we're good yeah he talked about he it on the london. podcast yeah. he went to london yeah, thank you. Fuck yeah, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Congratulations, oh, congrats, Rich. Rich. And he cries like he his storytelling on that's the best. He was like, yeah, I was like going to be very manly about it. It's so, like give this historic look. Like, this is where something happened here. He's like, that was in my head. And the second I started, it's like, no. Uh, <laughs> he's like I broke instantly I started crying immediately when I went to propose to my girlfriend I was like oh this is the sweetest Fuck story yeah, ever bitch. okay everyone Cody we're gonna have you cut us out right now this is a fucking solid episode right there guys thank you for joining the horror four on this unsubscribe podcast we were joined today by Eli Double Fat Fat Electrician Nick please follow everyone and also Brandon Herrera Donut Operator too by the way and then what do we call this group of people? Because we were trying to figure the out whore the whore four. The whore four is, the, the is whore pretty whore. solid. Well, we will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next podcast. Say it. Bye, bye, bye.